Hi, in this video I'll show you how to turn a picture into some puzzle pieces. Here we have a picture, and when I click here, you notice that it all combined together into four different puzzle pieces. So I'll show you how to create this puzzle piece, and maybe later on how to do this animation. So here we are back in normal view, and I'll click on a blank slide here, bring it up into a viewable size and we need two things we need the puzzle pieces and we need a picture so I'm gonna get a picture from Microsoft so you can download a picture from anywhere you go to Pixabay or if you've got the Office 365 subscription or the Microsoft 365 subscription under icons you can actually search for some stock images and let's just go for the stock image I have already which was the monkey let's see if it's still here uh, Oh, it disappeared. Oh, wait, wait, here you go, right here. Click on that, click insert, and we have the monkey. Under the picture format, let's change the height and width. If we did this, it's gonna keep the picture ratio. So if I wanted just a four inches by four inches, it's not gonna really do that, press enter. It's not gonna do that because it's gonna keep that aspect ratio. So what I need to do is select an image and click crop and crop it to a square. And once that's done, it's going to select that square. Maybe I want more of the face here. And I click crop, and I've got my square. So that's 2.67, 2.67. Let's make it an even number, 3 and 3. All right, so I've got the face here. And the next thing I need to do is get images of a jigsaw puzzle. So under insert, icons, we can do it this way of looking for a puzzle. And this is the beauty of having Microsoft 365. You can also go on the web to try and to find puzzle uh, images. And you can select on this. But I'll tell you one of the fallacies of selecting this. One of the things that go wrong with selecting something from these, this icon set. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have to do a lot of manipulating with it. These are actually composite images. Right click and go to group, ungroup. Yes. And we can see, whoops, let's try it again. Right click, select the image, right click, group, ungroup. So now we have this image that, this one that we need. But you'll notice that if I turn it around, it seems like it, it's going to get everything right, but you have all this skewness of where the image actually sits. It's, even though the image is not upside down, it thinks it's upside down. And even if I take this image, control X to cut, control V to copy, and just copy it back as an image, you'll notice that it kind of skews it. If I scroll in really carefully, you see that there's a white line. So it's probably best if you can't find an image on Microsoft or anywhere, you just create your own because it's not that hard. So we go to home, select on the rectangle, press the shift key, it will constrain the image into a box, a square. And all you need to do is just make a very simple puzzle. And we, all we need is a box. Let's also make this. This was 3. So I'll make this 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1 and since it's constrained here, let's make sure my aspect ratio. Let's not. Let's see if I do 1.5 here. Will it take 1.5 to 1.5? Yep. All right. So I can just make four of these to fit here. All right. So select on that. So I need a circle, either home, circle, or insert shape and in circle. But since I'm in home already, I'll just select that oval shape, press the shift key, and draw a small circle. And have it over on top here. And let's zoom in a little bit, or press the control key to zoom in. And make sure that this is kind of half, half everywhere. So that's half there, horizontally. What about vertic vertically? That's half there. Create another one. Control D to duplicate that. Create another one here and put it there half halfway there. So what I need to do now is to have that indented out and that indented in. So select this one first, press the control key and then select that one. Go under merge shapes and let's have a union union. Alright, so that one's done there. Now what I want to do is select this shape, press control, select this other circle. And I think this one is going to be the fragment 
or is it to intersect or subtract? Yep, subtract. So now I've got my puzzle piece. Let's scroll back out. So I have this puzzle piece. I can put one here. I can turn around, put another one there. So that's all I need to do. Now I don't need this fill, so get rid of the shape fill, no fill. But the border lines are on is okay. I'll, do, I'll deal with that later. Now I'll need to make four of these. Press the duplicate key three times. So I've got my four. I need, just need to rotate them around now. Make sure they all kind of join well. Let's make this one on the top. Move that one down. Make this one, rotate this one over here. Whoops, too much. Too much again. And move it down. One more, one more rotation. All right, and move it down over here. And this one we're going to rotate this way. And let's move them over here. So they don't really have to be, the. I guess the important part here, let's zoom in a little bit, control and mouse scroll. What we can do is make sure that these line up here, right? So this has to go out a little bit, right? My my edges line up, so it makes a perfect square. And it doesn't have to be all that perfect because what we're going to do is, when it's nice to have these lines there, right? So there's some separation. So I've got that there. So all I need to do now is just put the monkey in here. Let's see, does he fit? For the most part, he fits. Oh, because I've, I've widened everything out. So let's make the monkey a little bit bigger. Let's make this square a little bit bigger. All right, I'm going to put the monkey in here. And all I need to do now is select the monkey image first and then each of the individual uh, squares. The easiest way to do this is bring up the navigation pane or the selection pane. So I'll just type selection pane here up in the top. We want to display the selection pane so it lets us see it. We see that the picture is selected first. Let's press the shift key and select that. Nope, I think I need to select it individually. So I'm select the picture, press the control key, select that second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I've got that selected, go under shape format and do merge shapes. Let's see, I think it's either going to be fragment or combine or, oh, I forgot to do one thing. These colors I don't want. So I'm just gonna select my shapes here, press control, one, two, three, not the blue color outline for the jigsaw puzzles. Let's select kind of a white. A white color so you can actually see it so you can notice now there are some gaps here so depending on how closely you want your puzzle pieces to line up you might want to push them in closer but for this video's sake I'm okay with it so I'm gonna just select picture press control select my the rest of my objects here and then go under shape format merge shapes and fragment so now I can pull these out whoops So now I can pull them out. All right, so I've pulled them out. I don't need this anymore. Delete. And I've got my images here. And I can duplicate this slide. So as I mentioned earlier, to get that effect of movement animation, what you can do now, we have the first slide, which is spread far apart. We have the second slide, which we're going to put them together. And we're going to put them together a little bit closely I think it's okay and put that one closely and here's where we do our animation so I click on this slide go to transitions select the morph morph function now the morph function is only available in, in uh, Microsoft 365 subscription or PowerPoint uh, 2019 so if you have other versions unfortunately you're out of luck but then you'd have to use the animation features to do this and add an animation. That's a lot of work. But having PowerPoint 2019 or Microsoft 365 is fantastic for this more function. So click on that more function. If I go to slide three and start to show there, click, and then you notice how it all moves together really nicely. You can see that, well, there's a little bit of an edge here. But basically, that is your puzzle piece that you've created from a picture. Now, you don't also need puzzle pieces to do this, right? Because you can actually put many other types of images in here. So I'm going to do something else where 
we can insert not just puzzle pieces, but let's say we'll insert a new slide here, and let's pretend that we've got another image. Well, let's do another image. We'll select another image from the image, the stock images here. Something kind of uh, nice. Maybe we'll do a city, a city uh, scape. So click insert, and we've got this nice picture. Close this design ideas. Let's scroll out a little bit. And what we can do is, let's move this over here a little bit. And we're going to first paint some squares, some rounded squares, right? So we'll have some rounded squares here. Control D to duplicate. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. Control D to duplicate. And we'll make it a different orientation. This one's too big, so let's make it over here. And we can just kind of do a lot of stuff here and just pretend that we're just making all these different shapes. Control D and make this over here. Let's do this one, Control D here. So I'm just going to make a bunch of different shapes and designs. And we're going to incorporate it into that picture, Control D, and just take a kind of a, a cutout of all these shapes. Control D to do that and kind of incorporate it in there, right? So it looks kind of neat. And let's do another one, maybe a Control D to do that one. And maybe one more. Let's do this one out here. And this one's a little bit thinner. And control D. Let's do that here. All right. So that's all one image. Let's group that. Let's make them not blue. Let's not make them blue. Let's give them a shape fill of no fill. And we will put the picture over here. Let's get an image here, and actually, before I do that, maybe I want it white outline. Let's take that and do, or a black outline. Let's see, a black outline. Oh, let's do a white outline, and make it a little bit bold. Let's make these give away a little bit higher. So let's bring the picture back in. Maybe this picture is too big. Make it a little bit smaller so I can get a little bit more imagery here. Maybe that's even still, that was still too big. So let's put that there. Yeah, that looks, that looks okay. We'll do that and select, go to my selection pane again. Oh, let's, see, let's see if we can do it in selecting everything. Control A to select everything. Let's see what happens. Can we do it easily like this or do we need to do something else? Let's fragment everything. No. Okay, so let's Control Z to, un let's see. So let's bring in the selection pane again. Selection pane. Click on that. That's there. Press control, select my picture and my other objects here. Make sure the picture is selected first. And go under the shape format. Merge shapes. Let's fragment it. Uh, let's see, that, that image. Maybe it is not white. Let's see what happened to that one. Sometimes you've got to play around with this a little bit. And this one, is it, is it the shape fill empty? Is it no fill? I hope so. Let's see. Maybe we need to bring everything back. Put this in here. Put this in here and select my other images here. And right click, bring, bring them all forward, all front, right? Now let me select this again, control, press these, click on these and see if this works. Under shape format, merge shapes, fragment. Yep, so fragment works. So I'm gonna pull, now pull this out. I don't need, pull this out. <laughs> Delete, I don't need that anymore. And now I've got my images, right? So I've got my images of the cityscape with this particular design. So if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, group them, control G to group, right? And so I've got this really interesting design of using shapes to kind of like take different parts of a picture away, not using a puzzle type of shape, but you know, using different shapes. And this is kind of a, a really cool effect that you can do in PowerPoint. So that's how you can take an image and put it into a puzzle shape. And this bonus part here is how you can actually take pictures and incorporate any shape and kind of pull them out into different shapes.
So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.